Here's an outline of the topics we'll cover in the zoo virtual field trip. We begin with water use in Texas, followed by turtles in trouble with a couple examples from the zoo, then discuss the amphibian crisis with a couple more examples, then the case study on California condors, followed by red crowned cranes, and then another case study on screw worms. And then finally, we'll finish with storm drains and iNaturalist, two topics I covered in classes that met before the zoo opened. Water use in Texas can be divided into six major categories, agricultural, municipal, which means city, manufacturing, steam electric power generation, livestock watering, and mining. Of the six, the first three account for 94% of all the water consumed in Texas. You can right, see make sure you carefully read this so that you can answer some questions. The red-bellied short-necked turtle on the bottom feeds on insects, crustaceans, and mollusks. The Guadalupe map turtle or Kegel's map turtle is found only in Texas. You can see just that little tiny red spot in the range map. Um, the Guadalupe map turtle's only habitat in the planet is a 144 mile stretch of the Guadalupe River between Seguin and Cuero. The turtle to watch is a candidate for endangered species list. Although it's illegal to keep them as pets, Guadalupe map turtles have been exploited for the pet trade. They also are losing habitat and the state's long range water plan calls for dams that could wipe out turtle territory. The number of Guadalupe bass is also declining due to dwindling stream flows pollution and crossbreeding with the smallmouth bass, its cousin. There's the Guadalupe bass. The spotted pond turtle is found in South Asia from Sri Lanka up through India and into Bangladesh. This species is rarely seen in the winter time when it hides in tunnels and beneath vegetation. The Chinese three-stripe box turtle is highly sought after in the pet trade due to its beautiful coloration. Males of this species can also be very aggressive during courtship. Just like turtles, amphibians are also disappearing across the planet. Read these two paragraphs and answer the next question. The Panamanian golden frog may be extinct in the wild due to the chytrid fungus. This beautiful species is also highly sought after for the pet trade. This is another rare frog called the Lake Titicaca frog. This species is totally aquatic and never comes out on land. It's able to survive due to all the extra folds of skin that it has. This is an Andean condor, one of the largest species of birds of prey on the planet with a 10 foot wingspan. In the United States, we have a similar species called the California condor, which is a case study you need to know for this class. The California condor almost went extinct due to lead poisoning. 
One way they would get the lead is when ranchers shot coyotes and left the carcasses out, these birds would feed on them and get the lead. Another way that they get lead poisoning is when hunters shoot a deer but are not able to find it, and then these condors feed on the carcass. One of the rarest cranes in the world, what is the primary cause of their decline? You can find the answer in the graphic. Here is another important case study that's relevant to us because it's in Texas. But these flies here are called screwworm flies. It's because of their babies, these maggots, will basically put these big holes into cattle and it would kill them within a few days. So in order to deal with this problem, some scientists figured out a really neat strategy to get rid of them, which you can read right here. I'm going to ask you a question about it in just a few seconds, so read this and I will get right back to you. Since the zoo doesn't open till 10 a.m., yesterday and today I had to teach my first class from the Trinity River. We learned about iNaturalist, which is kind of like Pokemon Go for nerds. And we also talked about pollution in the river. While talking about it, these machines and trucks came up to help clean out some of the pollution that's trapped in these steel cages.